Gamma radiation. Ooh, gamma. We don't want that. Right. <laughs> All righty. Uh, number 13. The test here says, what quanta and photons are? All right, this is a vocab. It's a definition. There are quanta of light or photons of light. If those words can be used interchangeably. Yes. A quantum is a photon. It's a little bundle or packet of energy. Yes. You all right? Yep. Let's go on. That was a nice break. Four Get a nice, PDF. just fast yes. vocab. Uh, number 14. What element Bohr's model of the atom is describing and why? And you just said this just a minute ago. Right. Uh, Bohr focused on the hydrogen atom because it's it's the simplest one. You've got one right. proton in there interacting with one electron. You have one electron bouncing around between different energy levels, right. and that minimizes all of the interactions between multiple electrons right. pushing against each other. Yeah, we'll get to those, yeah. you know, and kind of look at, well, what would happen if there are more electrons? And, and we did see that, but we haven't focused on that yet. Uh, we've been sticking to the simplest model where there is just one electron to worry about because it's the easiest to quantify. Well, the presence of those other electrons right. kind of uh, shot the joy out of Bohr's model. Yeah, that, and, well, that's why it had to be revised because right, it, right. it wasn't as easy as we thought. Exactly. Okay, number 15. The test in says how the quantum mechanical model of the atom describes electrons in terms of their position and movement, etc. All right, so at the beginning of this chapter, we showed you some information on PowerPoint. We started with the quantum model, that fuzzy cloud, the general regions of, of probability where electrons are going to be, which we're going to do more of in the second half of the chapter. And then we went backwards and we looked at how all the models of the atom came together. My class actually did it the other way. Oh, you did. You went, we'll, we, you went we ended with the fuzzy cloud. Well, we did too. We, okay. we kind of mentioned it and uh, then gotcha. went back from the beginning and, and then ended with the fuzzy cloud. So there are probable places um, for finding the electron. It's not, it's not that definite path that Bohr was talking about anymore. I mean, that model is useful for describing the simple atom like hydrogen, but it's not that simple. And so there are, We continue to illustrate it this way because this is about the limit of our artistic skills. Right, yeah. So this works Especially great for building basic knowledge, but it, it, it's, not, it's not the way it really works in, in a real atom. Okay. Number 16. 16. Uh, who theorized that matter can behave as both waves and particles? This is a name that's, I don't know, sometimes hard to pronounce. Is it Louis? It was Louis. It Louis. was Louis. Louis. Prince Louis Victor de Broglie. De Broglie. But you know what's going to mess them up on this question is all the guys in this chapter are mentioned here. We got yeah. Einstein, we got Planck, we got Heisberg, we yeah. got uh, Schrodinger, you know, all people we've talked about, but who's the one that gave us the wave particle duality Duality. idea? Go, was, Louis, go. It's yeah. Louis. Louis de Broglie. Louis. 17. Uh, 17. Uh, what the Heisenberg uncertainty principle tells us about the movement of electrons in atoms? Hmm. I'm uncertain about this one. I am too. You know, I, 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 know. I just never, never. I do not know. Um, uh, Heisenberg, uh, he 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 didn't really know what he was talking about until <laughs> until it all became crystal clear for him. Uh, what he basically says is that you cannot know both the position of an electron and how it got there or where it's going. You can't know the position and the momentum of an electron. At the same time. Yeah, at, we at the same time. We can know one or the other. And we shared this in our, our Wednesday morning meeting the other day, but there's a cool thing we posted called oh, Minute Physics. That's crazy. Minute Physics Uncertainty Principle. The guy does in one minute an explanation of this. So if you don't understand it from what we talked about in class, and maybe we haven't given you enough mm -hmm. information right here, right now, then go to the Minute right. Physics uh, video on Moodle that we both have posted, and that might help you clear it up. Right. All righty. Hey, we're getting to the short answer for 18, 19, and 20. Yes. So on number 18, how to calculate frequency when given wavelength. I think we already had one of those. I think we did go over that. So there, there's one of those in the multiple choice. Why, now, why don't we ever make them calculate the speed of light? 
Well, because that's a constant. Oh, we, are, okay. we already know that, okay. right? We don't measure that. We, we can measure wavelength, we can measure frequency. Well, typically we can measure wavelength. We did that in the sodium spectrum lab in the dark, you know? Um, well, we'll get to that. They haven't seen that yet. They haven't seen that yet. Well, unless oh, by the time you get to the test, you will have seen it. Right. I forgot. Right. And if you're waiting to watch this until the night before, then yeah, you've already seen it. Yes. Um, but this is a show your work, use sig figs. Again, people who are listening here, we put the equations on the bottom of the page of the test. It's not that hard. You just need to know what the frequency is, uh, or excuse me, you're finding the frequency, you need to know what to do with wavelength, what to do with speed of light. It's very simple. Use your exponent button on your calculator. Okay, number 19. Number 19, how to calculate wavelength when given frequency. Wait a minute. Hmm. Did you just ask that question? No, no, I asked the opposite. Frequency when given wavelength. Yeah. And this is wavelength when given frequency. But we do the same thing, wouldn't we? Because frequency times wavelength is the speed of light. Well, it would be a different manipulation of the equation. Right, but it's the same equation. Yeah. Did we have to memorize the equation? No, because it's, our teacher loves us and it's on the bottom. It's on the bottom of the test. Page. Very good. But you know what? After they did the quantum ladder worksheet, I bet, and we had the little quiz, I bet they already know sure. it. Sure. Well, they have, already know it. and there are several great practice problems mm -hmm. where they go through the whole thing in right. the textbook. Right, uh, right, it, in our notes. This, this should be a pretty straightforward calculation. Slam so long as they pay attention to sig figs mm -hmm. and the proper use of that exponent key. Right. right. That, that, could, that could throw people off. Right. Oh, and when you report your answer, you're not allowed to report your answer 5.55E8. Oh, no. Eight. no. You, you have to actually change that into a real, legit uh, scientific. scientific notation. You have to replace that E with that times 10 to the proper power. Okay, and now we're on the last one. The last one, 20. How to calculate frequency when given energy. So, now we're talking frequency and energy. Frequency is what relates wavelength to energy. So, frequency shows up in two equations. Yes. And this will be the other one. Um, do we want to show? Oh, is this equation. It's there. Right there. It's so, there. we talked about this before when we're looking at the size of the jump and what energy is that, what energy of light is given off. Um, and it's just, again, we've got the variables there and it should be pretty straightforward. Right. right. Okay. All right. We hope you know everything. We 20, hope you spend some time looking at this. And 20 quick questions. You know what's coming up? No. Flip. Flip. Woohoo! Yes. Awesome. That's gonna be good. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be good. Awesome. All right, they'll be ready for it. I hope so. Yep. I, I think so. All right, thanks.